John Carpenter, Wes Craven, legends in the horror genre, icons in the horror genre. Why is this always a debate? Let's talk. Hello and welcome to the Cavern of Terror. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cavern of Terror. I actually wasn't planning on doing a video tonight. It is currently 1.43 in the morning, and I have to go to bed. And I was going to do a video later this week on my Resident Evil live-action ranking, so look out for that. John Carpenter versus Wes Craven. This debate happens all the time, and I figured that I needed to make a video on it. So today... We're going to talk about John Carpenter and Wes Craven and why I feel like we always have this debate. If you guys watch my channel, you probably already know about the group Killer Flicks run by my boy Lee from over the Drum Dums channel, good friend of mine. He has a very big, very popular horror group called Killer Flicks where we talk about horror all, all week, every day. Okay, I think it's safe to tell you I'm also an admin over there, so if you do decide to join facebook.com backslash killer flicks let them know that your boy sent you i see this debate all the time over there john carpenter versus wes craven which one's better if you ask me i think john carpenter and wes craven are both great but i think we have to dig a little bit deeper first off we need to ask ourselves this question why is it always john carpenter and wes craven why isn't it toby hooper or george romero or joe dante or clive barker or mick garris or sam raimi the list goes on the reason why I think it's always John Carpenter and Wes Craven is they were consistent. They were consistent game changers. And game changing is going to be a big thing that I mentioned in this video. I know that we had Alfred Hitchcock's huge hit, Psycho, in 1960. But it wasn't another 14 years in 1974 that we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It wasn't another 14 years in 1974 that we got Bob Clark's Black Christmas. Yes, those are game-changing films, but they didn't come out until 14 years after Psycho. All you have to do is look at the dates in John Carpenter and Wes Craven's filmographies. Those horror films are so close together. So close together. You can't say that with a Toby Hooper. You can't say that with a Joe Dante. You can't say that with most of those classic horror directors. Don't think that I forgot about the remakes. These guys have had more films remade than any of those other directors. So we know that they're consistent over all these other directors, but there's a deeper why there. There's a deeper why people pick these directors over all the others. And there's two reasons. It's Halloween and A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's always going to be Halloween and A Nightmare on Elm Street. So who's my horse in the race? Well, you can see that A Nightmare on Elm Street poster behind me. And I will explain why I love Wes Craven. But that doesn't mean I don't like John Carpenter. That doesn't mean I don't like Christine. And just because I like Christine, that doesn't mean I don't like Shocker. And just because I like Shocker does not mean I don't like The Fog. And just because I like The Fog does not mean I don't like Scream. And if you guys know my channel, you know that I love Scream. The filmography battle always happens, especially when you're talking about John Carpenter and Wes Craven. You always say, well, I like Scream, but... But you don't like The Fog? Like, there's a bunch of shit that goes on with both of these filmographies, both these directors. It's always, which one do you like better? This movie's better than this one, this one's... Not. But we're going to get into why these heated debates always happen. You're always going to have people that are going to bring up John Carpenter's filmography. They're always going to bring up Christine. They're going to bring up The Fog. They're going to bring up Halloween. They're going to bring up Prince of Darkness. They're going to bring up Vampires. They're going to bring up Village of the Damned. And yes, all of these movies are great. They're technically great. And then you have a great technical filmmaker there with great cinematography and a great score. John Carpenter is a fantastic director. He is the epitome of a filmmaker, he knows how to work with music, he knows how to work with actors, he knows how to write a great story, but you also have to bring up how Wes Craven changed the fucking game multiple times. Last House on the Left, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, three times this man has changed the way people look at horror. 
we can even dig a little bit deeper and go into the producing credits of Wes Craven. Look at the amount of horror films that he just put his name on and helped with creative input. If he wasn't there, do you think we would have a film like Feast? Where's the difference in your argument? Where is that, I'm going to floor you, opinion that makes John Carpenter better than Wes Craven? That makes Wes Craven better than John Carpenter? You have to dig deeper than just the surface of their filmography. You have to go deeper than that. For me, the separation lies into two separate areas. And with Wes Craven, it's his work with female characters. Nev Campbell in Scream, Christina Ricci in Cursed, Heather Lennenkamp in A Nightmare on Home Street, Angela Bassett in Vampire in Brooklyn. The performances that Wes Craven gets out of those actresses are extremely strong. And I don't think you can say that in a John Carpenter film. I've heard this at nauseum. We know that Jamie Lee Curtis is great in Halloween. This is a great performance from her. But do we know who the female main character's name is in Christine? Can we say that Kirstie Alley really gave a great performance in Village of the Damned? As far as John Carpenter goes, I will admit it. He was able to leave the horror genre and make other films like They Live and Starman and Big Trouble in Little China in the amazing Kurt Russell Elvis TV movie, he's been able to transcend the horror genre. And that's huge. Not many horror directors have done that. The only one that I can really think of today that has done a movie that's not horror is James Wan. That's a huge accomplishment. That's one thing that John Carpenter can say that he's done that Wes Craven never actually had the opportunity to do. Now, I like Music of the Heart that came out in 1999. It was a film with Meryl Streep, and it was not horror whatsoever. That's why it was a failure with Wes Craven. His name was on a movie that wasn't horror, and no one wanted to go see it. That doesn't mean that Wes Craven didn't try to go outside of horror with something more of a thriller, but his success rate just wasn't as big as John Carpenter's. In the end, guys, Wes Craven and John Carpenter are both legends for all the reasons that I gave you. And look at all these movies that we have to compare and contrast with. And I have films that are on my shelf that I didn't even talk about. Anybody want to do a debate on these two movies? Guys, this video may end up making no sense, but it's something that I really needed to talk about. It's something that we're probably going to end up talking about again. And it's because of legends like Wes Craven and John Carpenter that we make these videos. So who do you guys think is better, John Carpenter or Wes Craven? Sound off in the comments down below. And if you pick Joe Dante, I might give it a heart. If you like this video, guys, make sure you give me a big fucking thumbs up. And if you're new to the Cavern of Terror and you like my content and you want to see all my future content, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you get notified about all my future videos. If you want to get yourself a badass Cavern of Terror t-shirt designed by the man Woody Bowen himself, check out my Spreadshirt store also in that motherfucking description box. As always, guys, I would appreciate it if you followed me on social media. You can find those links down there as well. But most importantly, guys, my name's Zach. I love John Carpenter and Wes Craven. Stay metal, my friends.